What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it's 50 cents a day And don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com Get yourself some MIDI drums, get yourself Trap Chords for Scalar Get yourself Trap Chords Volume 2 with the MPC dot progression files And don't forget to stop by Spotify follow the spicy sundays podcast we are back all right now today we're going to be working inside of the mpc uh software um this tutorial is going to be about uh, creating patterns inside the mpc and just keeping everything straight so what i've done first is i've just selected it i've just selected a loop um shout out to timmy holiday um this is this is a pretty dope loop and i'm using uh again one of the reasons why i like to use the npc software as opposed to just being 100 percent standalone is because the time stretch on standalone sucks and it is 2020 and i don't want to not i don't want to live in a world where i don't have elastic pro time stretch i don't want to okay so this in this tutorial i'm just gonna be using my mouse though I'm not going to be using the uh, controller so I can show you guys how easy it is to get around the software. So I've just made myself a loop. I've got, um, you know, I've got, I've got warp engaged up here. The original BPM of this was 151 BPM. I have that inputted when you click warp and you, and you put the original BPM here, no matter what I change the tempo to on the main part of my track, we are always going to stay um, synced with with the tempo right no matter what so that is that is the point so if we go back to whatever this was so if we go back there um all right so this is this is track one i'm in sequence one um so what i want to do now is i've already picked my loop i've put it down what i want to do now um is I want to switch over back to MIDI, right? Because I'm going to be using MIDI to create drums. Audio is in the audio track over here. We've got that taken care of. I'm switching over to the MIDI side now, and I'm going to be using the drum program uh, to create a drum part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into one of my go-to kits, and I'm going to select my the kick I like to use. We'll go ahead and we'll pick out a clap. Right. Let's get some hi hats. So we got this guy and this guy. All right. Now, if you're just now, if you're just like mousing stuff in with the with the NPC. Um, your, the grid resolution is going to be found up here next to the TC, right? So this is how you can go in and put your triplets and everything like that. I'm not sure if there is a key command to, to change these. Um, so if you're used to, if you're used to being able to have that from like my studio one workflows, I haven't, I haven't, uh, but I haven't looked right. Um, so typically, you know, you can start out your snare pattern like this. If you hold down, if you press command and D that's what's, that's, what's going to get you your duplicate. Um, the, unfortunately the program doesn't have that, like that smart type of spacing that's in like Ableton live and all the other DAWs where it'll paste it on the next spot, but whatever, it's fine. Um, and I also don't know how to turn the, uh, the every time, every time you click a, you click a note, it triggers. Um, but it's fine. So to make hi hats like a straight hi hat, what I do is I'll just is I'll just hold down is I'll just go ahead and do this real quick. That's one method to do it. If you like to if you like to add if you like to add velocity, what I would suggest is maybe doing something like this. I like to alternate the velocity of my hats, and then and then you can have something a little bit uh. something that makes a little bit more sense all 
And if you want to get rid of a note, you just you right click on it twice and it'll get it'll disappear. And for like for like trap hi hats, um, what I like to do in this method is I'll have one as my main hi hat. Then if I'm gonna do rolls, I will you know I'll go down into uh, my, my uh, I'll go down to like a 32 T, right? And then everything that I do is is predicated off of off of the uh, the command D um, shortcut because that's what's that's just what's gonna make it faster to work with. And then what I'll do is I'll just kind of is I'll just kind of zoom in close enough so that I could see the boxes and then I'll just you know I'll just I'll, I'll just keep on restarting the pattern and vibe until um you know until until I make something that, that you know that goes click and hold on the um on the uh click and hold on the um on I don't even know what to call that the what is that the the time bar or whatever um if you hold if if you press left and right this is the same function as nudge on the controller which is uh you know when you highlight midi notes this can be really this can be a really uh a really convenient way to to move notes around on the piano roll and it'll do it within uh whatever you set the the time correct to and if you hold down shift if you hold down shift while you're doing while you're doing your um while you're pressing left and right on the uh on the keyboard it will it will give you like it'll give you these little micro nudges so you can you know you can really you can really do fine adjustments off the grid right so you know working inside it, it working inside of the mpc piano roll to create like trap style drums or any type of drums like this is what this thing does it does the drums it is super simple and super easy um one of the things i really like about mpc is just the way that it handles velocity um so do not forget to utilize that All right, so that that is inputting pattern, super simple, super straightforward. Um, I'm gonna go into probably the next tutorial. I'll, I'll cover uh, quantize. So if you guys want to see any specific quantized uh, related questions addressed, please put them in the comments of this video. This is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, Studio One Tutorials.com. You guys keep it simple, but don't be basic. And we will see you on the next one, fam.